Hey, hi, I'm Trevor Newman and I'm running to be your next Hayes County Democratic Chair. Um, the main reason I'm running is because that our community needs new, fresh representation, especially our party. We cannot have a county chair who continues to enable Republicans to use their power and hers combined to manipulate our elections because Republicans are fragile right now. That's how they're gonna get us, is they're gonna try to infiltrate in our next election cycle and we just can't allow that to happen. So one of my first things I would like to do when I get in office is kick out Jennifer Anderson and get an independent in that office because we need someone who is going to doesn't care if they're Republican or Democrat, but will do right by what is good for the citizenry because we need an independent in that office so that we can have unbiased elections that will benefit the community and benefit our democracy. Um, another reason I'm running is because, like Hoka said, there's not, that, there's not that much representation of marginalized communities within the Democratic Party. In our budget that we passed for our annually, they had one category for minorities, and that was minorities. They didn't have L LGBTQIA, they didn't have Hispanic, they didn't have African American, they didn't have disabled, they didn't have veteran categories, they just had minority. And that was for outreach for an election. They gave them $600, I think. They gave students $1,000, and I said, take half of our budget and give it to them. I said, they need to be, we need to be contacting them. We need to be outreaching to them because we cannot succeed as a party and continue to empower the Democratic Party and empower our community and deepen our roots into our county if we don't have their votes, and we don't have them on our side, and if we're not speaking up for them. So one of the things that I would like to do as county chair to empower those communities is create committees to represent the African American community, the Hispanic community, the LGBTQIA community, the impoverished community, veterans, disabled, whatever it be, because all those people are in our community and they deserve representation. And I get tired of Democratic leaders saying, well, our job is to elect Democrats and that's it. And to register voters, and that's it. To make phone calls and block walk and that's it. That's not it. That's part of our job. We should be electing Democrats, but we should also support them. We should support our community. And that's why I'm running because we have to be supportive of our community. We cannot continue just to say, well, here you go, there's your elected leader, Democratic parties don't have anything to do with us now. We should be a resource to our community. We should be accessible to our community. That's why I wanna have a full-time staffer in the office so that if the county chair is not available, no one in the executive board is available, that someone is in that office to give them details about voter registration, becoming a VDR, um, giving them information on candidates, telling them where they can get information on other candidates, telling them what campaign needs help or um, what organization in the city needs help, whether that be the home center or whether that be the battered women's shelter that we have. We don't even have a homeless shelter in Hayes County, y'all. Mm -hmm. That's a huge population that is not being helped and the Democratic Party should be doing something about that. Our biggest thing as Democrats is helping others and making a community. That's what our message should be going into 2020, is making a community to better Hayes County. We need to turn our county a darker shade of blue, and I do not think that we can do that, and we cannot have that community that we desire and need if we continue with our current leadership. And that's why I'm running. Obviously, there are countless other things that I would like to talk about, but I don't want to take up your time if you have a certain issue that you'd like to talk to me about, I'd gladly talk to you about it. You can also go to my Facebook page and my Twitter. And during the holidays, I release my 12 days of policy positions that you can look at. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm running, and that's why I want to be your next Democratic County Chair. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for your time. Thank you for if you brought any food. Um, I would also like to point out my communications director just left. Um, but this is Tegan. He's my... Uh, Campaign manager, this is Alexa. What's your position again? <laughs> She's just kind of there. She does a lot of things for me. Um, and this is my lovely mom, Flo. This is my Aunt Rhonda. And I would not be here today without their support and their love and everything they do for me. So thank you guys so much for being here, and I look forward to your support in the primary. I want to ask you.